Hey guys, we're doing an installation of the uh, Lawrence Ghost trolling motor. In particular, we're talking about the heading sensor, which is effectively a compass, a magnetic compass. Okay, we're deciding where to put that onto the deck. But before we get there, I want to show you something about uh, measuring the, a good spot for your um, a puck. We use a map, uh, an app called the uh, uh, called Gemico, and we're using the magnetometer. Okay, but now watch what happens. I'm going to put my phone flat. I'm going to select the magnetometer uh, uh, function. Now look what happens when I tilt it to its side. Watch what happens to the reading. Okay, can you see that? Look how it goes right off, off the scale. So remember, when you start the app, or not, not essentially the app, but when you select the magnetometer, which is essentially like turning on your internal compass of sorts, you must be lying flat. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn that off like that. I'm going to go back to the app like that. Let's say, there we go. I'm going to select the magnetometer. Okay. I'm going to put it flat. Okay. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, nobody's going to put their uh, uh, puck underneath wires like that. But how many people are going to put your, these wires could be right underneath your actual deck and your puck is sitting just on top of it. Watch what happens when I turn on some load. You can see there's only 0.2 amps now. We're going to turn that, that on. It jumps up a little bit to 0.6 amps. There's no actual load on it yet. It's just the internal load of the inverter that is on now. But watch what happens when I turn on, I've got a little fan connected to it. Watch what happens when I turn that off. Can you see what is happening there? And guys, that's what's happening at only 3 amps. This is 2.9 to 3 amps. And you're getting this type of fluctuation. This is going to mess your readings around something terrible. What happens when you come up to 10 amps? This is going to be just about right off the scale. So guys, please watch out for this when you're using your magnetometer apps.